HDTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services, joined by D'Amico Dehaney this afternoon. D'Amico, thanks for joining us, first of all. One place we've got to start, that goal at Scunthorpe last week. I'm sure our yeah. fans will have seen it now, we'll put it on this video. Uh, fantastic left-footed strike. Is that a, a frequent occurrence for you? Um, I wouldn't say it's too frequent occurrence for me, but I've been practising more on my left foot because I like cutting inside, so... Yeah, I just caught the strike well and yeah, it was a good goal, I suppose. One of them you know when it leaves your foot that it's going in the right place? Yeah, definitely. As soon as it left my foot, I just knew it was going in. So. I mean, it, it was a great strike and we're kind of laughing about it a little yeah. now, but it is important because we're going to come on to the changes that probably you guys have seen under Jan Sievert and one of the, guy, one of the changes is he's asking full-backs to come inside more, so yeah. I suppose that kind of position and the ability to do that might be more and more frequent for you. Uh, yeah, definitely. Obviously, like... When he's come in, he's told the fullbacks, like maybe building up, you need to be inside. So obviously, you need to use both feet. And going forward, he likes attacking fullbacks as well. So yeah, it's good to work on both sides. Yeah. I think our supporters, particularly against Arsenal in the last first in game, are starting to see the differences in what Jan wants compared to what David Wagner wanted. From a, a perspective from you, fullback doesn't look totally different, but are you seeing subtle change? Are you having to learn slightly different things? Um, I'd say it's similar, but it's, there is sort of changes. Like obviously, like I said, going inside, building up, uh, you need to like tuck inside almost like a midfielder. Mm. So that's a difference from uh, David. But yeah, I'd say it's quite similar, but the sort of changes could make a difference. Yeah. As, long, as well as working with Dean Whitehead and, and the group you've been playing with, you've also trained with the first team a lot. How, how's that been for you since Jan came in? It's a good chance for you to impress. Uh, yeah, definitely it's a good chance. Um, I think I've done quite well with them. All the lads are like, good with me, like, they, we all get along, so I feel comfortable with them and I'm just trying to impress everyone, yeah. I know training at senior players isn't a new thing for you. You did it at Manchester City quite a lot before you joined us. Yeah. But does having Mark Hudson in that fold, is that helping you out? Because it's certainly a familiar face. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Like Obviously, he was with us uh, prior to when he moved up with the first team. So, obviously, we know him and it's good to uh, have someone we know more over them. We can talk to him if we need to. And, yeah, it just helps, helps every young player, yeah. Obviously, when you joined us, D'Amico, you obviously got an eye on breaking into the first team as soon as you can. Mm. Does having someone like Jan at the helm, obviously has a, a track record of developing young players in his previous jobs, that can only be a good thing for you when you see him enter and you see that that's what yeah. he's all about? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, when I heard he was coming, I was excited because I know he's working with, he's worked with young players and I just, I just need to keep impressing everyone, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Impressing the big chances in games, obviously. Yeah. He played very well against Scunthorpe in what I thought was a, a terrific game as well. I was there at Glanford Park and they yeah. put out a proper senior team. I suppose that's exactly what you and, and your younger colleagues want, isn't it? Yeah, it was a tough game. Uh, playing against older players, it's good to... Uh, it's like a different challenge, so obviously you have to get used to like being roughed up and getting into different situations, but no, it was def definitely a good game. and. I, think, I thought we played well, even though obviously we got beat, but I thought we held, we stood well to the challenge, but we'll just keep learning. I suppose that's what the games programme here gives you guys, in that it's interesting when, I know you didn't go to Sevilla because you were training with the first team, but you see the lads go out there and a, a real landmark result beating Sevilla's under 19s. Yeah. And then when you come here, it's those physical challenges you get as well that perhaps you don't get yeah. uh, in other clubs and other things. So that, that's a real learning curve for all of, of the team this year, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like I'd say when we come against younger players or younger teams, because we are quite a technical team, we will probably we will probably win against those teams, but when it come against the older players, older oppositions, then it's when it's a real challenge, yeah. Obviously Brentford tomorrow, a team we know well how Brentford they yeah, played yeah. quite a few times this season, but with good reason. I mean, a bit like us combine both sides of it, don't they? They're good technically, yeah. but, but they're a good physical test too. Yeah, they are quite similar to us, the way they play and the sort of players they have, like they're very technical like we are. And I'd say, they're probably a bit more physical than us, but we we know how to play against them, obviously now. And uh, now nah, I think I think this time we will we will win. It's a strange one, isn't it, for you? Because at 20, you have your oldest player in the yeah, team, yeah. along with maybe Rahman is around the same age yeah. as you as well. But it is a young side still that's learning, isn't it? It's important yeah. to remember that. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, being one of the older ones, I'd say 
I've been in like under 23s for quite a while so sometimes I give advice to the younger players coming up and I think I think they take it on like I think they see me as one of the older ones me and Romani yeah but yeah it's good. We've spoken to you a few times about your aims and ambition here D'Amico but um, obviously as the season goes on it's been a tough season at first team level so far mm. but what are your kind of hopes and ambition do you set yourself targets in terms of what you want to achieve? Um, Obviously, it's a difficult one, obviously, because uh, we're at the bottom of the league, but my own targets were just to keep going, keep impressing the first team manager and staff, and you never know like if you can get thrown in um, towards the end of the season, then I just need to be as ready as possible. Spot on. Domingo, thanks for joining us. Good luck at Brentford tomorrow. Thank you.